It's a good to have you join us on the Nine News Highlights. I'm Fortune Aman. The Federal Capital Territory, the National Identity Management Commission, and the Industrial Training Fund have presented reports of activities of their agencies to the Federal Executive Council at its meeting presided over by President Muhammadu Buhari. The meeting was attended by Vice President Yemi Oshibajo, Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Mr. Boss Mustafa, Head of Service, Mrs. Winifred Oyeta, and other cabinet members. The Executive Director of Women Trafficking and Child Labor Eradication Foundation, Mrs. Imabong Ladikbo Sanusi, has called on government at all levels and parents to ensure total elimination of all forms of abuse against children. Ladikbo Sanusi made a call at commemoration of the World Day Against Child Labor, launched in 2002 by the International Labor Organization to focus on issues of child labor, the actions and efforts needed to eliminate the menace. Across Africa, the oldest and largest baobabs, also known as the wooden elephant, have died due to droughts and rising temperatures linked to climate change in the last 12 years. A research in the Journal of Nature Plants found that the baobabs were patched by extreme weather, leaving them unable to support the massive weight of their trunks. The unique composition of sugars in the mother's breast milk may prevent food allergies in her infant, according to a study published in the latest issue of Allergy. The study highlighted the health role of human milk oligosaccharides, which are not found in infant formula, suggesting a potential for therapeutic interventions. Previous studies had showed that breastfed infants had a lower risk for a variety of medical conditions such as wheezing, infections, asthma, and obesity. And top United States counterintelligence official is advising Americans traveling to Russia for the World Cup beginning this week not to take along their electronic devices. William Evanena said that data on devices such as mobile phones and laptops were likely to be hacked by cyber criminals. For details of these and other stories, do log on to our website, nan.ng.